did it begin to first get into your head that something was really wrong? Well, when I came back from Nam, I had, there were the draftees in my unit. And uh, they thought all different than the way everyone else thought. And I talked with them, because I like talking with people. And they told me why they thought the war was wrong, and why we shouldn't go there, and why evading the draft isn't wrong. And uh, it took, I thought about it, you know, but I didn't really think it was right. And then I got into college. I started taking history courses because I'm a pre-law major. I had to take a lot of political science and history. And uh, I started seeing things, and I couldn't believe things were, you know, like the book said, like uh, the Geneva Convention. And it's okay that we didn't allow free elections because if they would have had free elections, they would have been communists, and we couldn't let that happen, so it's okay. You know, and I just, I couldn't buy that kind of stuff. And it really started turned me and I, I started thinking about everything in my past experiences and relating them to what I was learning and thinking about what we were really doing in them you know we weren't uh, benefiting the people the only thing we we're doing over there is uh, uh, for our own economic gains and uh, political power it's uh, like the balance of power with being that close to China you know gives us a little bit more power on the scale and the country wants as much as it does it can have and uh, we don't care about the people. And uh, if they were somewhere else, we wouldn't, like Czechoslovakia, we wouldn't interfere. So all the experiences all of a sudden just start rushing back at this point? Right, and I decided that all the things I did really wasn't right, and that I should think of people as human beings, not as black or white or, uh, uh, or red, or even what, the, what their uh, philosophies were. And sometimes when I talk about it, you know, I laugh all the time, you know, because I don't want people to think that I'm, I'm not a man and it's kind of a, the way I've been brought up again, you know, you're supposed to be a man and men are hard and they don't have feelings and stuff. But uh, when, I, when I think about it, it bothers, it bothers me inside. And I, and I, like, I know there's nothing I can do to, to change it, so, you know, why let it bother me so I don't think about it? Has your concept of what a man is changed? Uh, yes. I don't, I don't anymore. But even though I don't, like, I had some sensitivity courses, and it got where, you know, sometimes guys would cry. And, uh, you know, like, sometimes I felt like crying. Like, we'd really see a sensitive film and get into something really deep. But I'd start to, and I'd think about something else. So, like, even though I know I shouldn't think of a man the way it is, I just, you know, can't change. I, I try to change, but I still, you know, try to be uh, brave and things like that, rather than and hard and emotionless. Do you want to change? Uh, I think if I really wanted to change, I could. You know, I'm just afraid that I'm not, I'm not really sure what I want. But it's very hard, you know, to, to, to something that you really have faith in, like a society, and to lose faith in it. And it's, uh, it puts your head through some changes when you, when you keep seeing things that look wrong and more things that look wrong and less things that look right and you don't think you're really wrong. But then when you're talking to your family or someone trying to find out, really, and show them why you think the way you do, and like they all say, you're crazy, you know, I don't, how can you think like that? Then it upsets you, and then you go back to school and uh, you talk to people and they understand.